What's up guys, Matt here, coming at you with another quick video. This one, Axial finally sent over the AX24 for me to check out. Wait, didn't I see you buying that over at the Who's Your Hobby? Oh man, you got me, you got me. I told you flex sales, guys. Who cares what he does with it after he buys it? Somebody please get me something around here to review that I didn't pay for. How am I supposed to give a positive review if I had to buy it myself? All right, so I had to have a little fun with it. You know, um, I was kind of hard on this in my initial thoughts video. And, uh, you know, I had people crying saying that I was mad because Axial didn't send me one and whatever. Um, I don't ever talk to anybody at Axial or like can't really get Horizon to respond to me if I have an issue with something. Um, really, I don't even bother contacting them anymore when I have issues with stuff. My LMT was one of them had, was a mess when I got it. And I just didn't even bother trying to mess with contacting them. I just bought replacement parts. Um, so like, I don't talk to them. So I don't know why anybody would think that I assumed they were going to send me one. Um, and honestly, I like buying this stuff because I can be 100% honest about it. You know, when it's my money in this. Uh, I really ha know whether it's worth the money or not. And this one, I, I do got to say, like, it probably is for, especially somebody who's trying to get into the SCX24, um, because that's all this is really is an SCX24, just changed up with little, with some four-wheel steering. But uh, I think this is really probably the way I would start. If I was going to buy an SCX24, um, you know, if you're getting four-wheel steer, you're getting a much nicer radio. This thing is actually really nice, and we'll talk about it in a minute for an RTR. Uh, you're getting four-wheel steer, and there's just there's there's quite a bit of value there for the price. Now it's going to take some work to really make it perform because you can see this thing is crazy top-heavy, uh, springy, bouncy, and like mods are kind of going to be tough on it because of the way it's designed, you know, with these shocks, um, I'm thinking of maybe just like cutting this whole top plate out and doing something different, but it, it's going to take some work to mod this. And, uh, you know, that's probably not for a lot of people, but as far as just jumping in right out of the gate, I think, you know, this has got a ton of flex. People are going to love that. Um, to me, it has too much. Honestly, I would rather it only get to about right there because when I was driving this every time this thing would be on a side hill of course it's top heavy so it just loops out all the time but um when you've got that flex and that that axle will go all the way over like that all this tire is going to do is hook and loop you out and you know I see people that post pictures and videos and stuff of like flexed out rigs just twisting in half and all that does is fight itself on tough lines. It looks cool when you're just crawling over some massive boulders and stuff and people are like, oh man, that thing goes anywhere. But you put it on some really technical, challenging lines and it's gonna fight itself most of the time. So this thing twisting every which way kind of hurts it a little, uh, but with a little tuning, it'll be all right. We may do like the shock mod on this and um, capture the spring down over the the bottom um, rod in there or something to bring us down a little, or I may just go with a little shorter shock. I feel like if it was just brought down and it would ride like right in there, we'd be all right. Maybe we'll just put like a little limiting strap on it or something, but definitely need to get it a little lower. I feel like getting this ESC off of here, it's like way up in the sky. That has got to be moved to help this thing out. Um, everything else, the best thing about this, I love these sliders. I absolutely love those. They did a really good job with that and the nice flat skid. This is a different skid. As you can see the upper links, hopefully you can see, do not mount to the skid like they used to, which is an improvement in my eyes. Um, 
you know, they're up here. We could actually move them around a little with a, it'd be nice if we had like a link riser coming off the back of a servo mount, you know, to bring up the, the rear a little, but, um, these sliders won't fit a regular SCX 24 skid unless you drill some new holes or like on this, I was looking at it on this right here. It, these holes will line up with like these two holes off center. So um, if you can make it work where it's like shifted forward or back, you can make it work. I mean, anything will work with a little bit of customizing, but they are not a direct bolt up. And um, so that's a little different, but the transmission is the same. It mounts the same two holes here, one in the top, I believe. I can't even see the one, yeah, there it is. So um, transmission's the same. Everything else is pretty much the same. The battery, I mean, this is, it's nifty, you know, um, for, like I said, you're basically somebody just getting into the 24s. Uh, I think this is a great way to go. That works really well. I just don't like how high everything is. I feel like if they would ditch this massive battery and just get us something smaller, they could have did a lot more here. Uh, the rock lights in these sliders look amazing, but I feel like I could pull those out and maybe fit a battery along here. Even this ESC, you could probably not even have to decase it, slip it in there, but we'll get to mods on this later. Uh, I just want to kind of talk about how it runs. I was really expecting better from the ESC, to be honest, because it's really one of the only improvements they made is this transmitter. So you can see how the battery kind of stashes in here. So I think for a stock, slightly modded class, maybe like this would be pretty cool. Um, I don't really do comps. I think they're kind of whatever, but, um, this is definitely a good way to go, but I, I feel like this ESC is a downgrade from the V2. It just, you see like, it's almost like a friggin' on off switch. Like I'm trying as easy as I can to get a slow crawl. There we go. Now it did seem like it did a little bit better when it was, see how fast it is? When it's going up against something, it almost does a little better. So, you know, maybe the slow crawl won't be terrible, but uh, on the flat surface there, it's it seems really bad, but then you, you get to crawling with it and it's it's not horrible. See how jumpy it is right there? But it does pretty well. Not bad for a stock system. Not great, um, in my opinion. I think the V2 felt better to me, but uh, it's not horrible. And then this transmitter is actually pretty nice for an RTR. Uh, it has a great feel, nice foam. Here you've got, um, this controls your four wheel steering. So I found, you know, it works pretty well. Even when I was one hand driving, you know, a quick switch with my thumb right there, just like flicking down there or back up. So you hit down, it goes to four wheel steer. You go back up your two wheel, hit the up again, that's crab crawl. I wish there was a way to control just the rear, but for an RTR, that's that's not bad. Um, pretty easy to cycle through those, especially if you were driving with two hands, no issue at all. Uh, and you've got steering rate, throttle, steering trims, and then back here you have a 50, 7500 for your throttle, 50%, 75, 100, oh wait, 100, flip the wrong switch. Um, then you do have your throttle reversing, so if you put a motor in there, for some reason it's running backwards, you can switch that. Steering reverse, so obviously that switches that, but... Uh, this is pretty nice. It's got a little hook here. So if you want to 
hook something, you know, a lanyard around your neck or whatever. It's easy to carry along with you. So they did a couple of things right. Uh, I just wish they would have did some upgraded servos, maybe a little better motor, definitely like some CVDs or something in there, you know. Um, I wasn't like saying it was completely garbage, uh, but they did they didn't really improve anything that really needed it. Um, this chassis setup is a very outdated setup. This thing right here that I've been messing with, um, I had this running really good, but then I decided I wanted to change it. You can see it was kind of the same setup. This is actually, I think this chassis looks better than that one, these rails. And that's off of a Red Cat Sumo from like 10 or 12 years ago. Combined with Basher Rocksta axles. And uh, it's a mess right now. It was running really good actually, but I just wanted to change a few things on it. But my point is like, this is an old system and I'm not real sure why they went with it, but you can see this is the carbon fiber rails that they offer. They don't really offer any um, performance upgrade, in my opinion. They are just an exact replica of the stock. So really, there's no point in buying these. You're not really going to save that much weight. I mean, this is metal. This is carbon fiber. You may shave a little bit of weight. But uh, it's it's not worth it in my opinion. The flat brass skid, um, you know, normally I prefer plastic. It slides better, uh, but it may help to get that weight down there. I bought these just so I had something extra to tinker with on release. And you can see I did make this pancake fit, and it just clears there. It's not bolted in yet once it's bolted in there. It will just clear. You may, I may have to have, you know, once I get my brace in here, but it will clear with this mount. I don't even know what this mount is. It was a 3D printed mount I had from a long time ago. So I don't know. I'm probably not even going to put that motor in there. I was just curious if it would work. Anyways, we'll get to mods later. I just keep getting off track. Let's go crawl this, show you guys what it can do on the course as it is. And then I'm definitely going to be doing a lot of upgrades to these things. Before I get to crawling with it, a um, couple more things. I know people are gonna wanna know how bodies fit on here. This cliffhanger, a lot of people were talking about it. It's it's gonna fit really well. It's just gonna be a little wide for the sliders you can see there. Um, so you can't really tuck that in to the sliders. Uh, maybe we could get some longer screws, space those out a little, um, or you could just run it like that. It's not a huge gap there. You could possibly even do some Velcro along the sliders. And by the time you add the Velcro in there or something, uh, it would hold and it fits really well, actually. Um, so we could lower that down. And that's that looks pretty good. Uh, I may have to come a little forward to clear the servo here, which we need to come forward anyways. But we would have to... Maybe move a few things around to get that where it needs to be, but um, a pretty easy fit right there. If you can see that, that's that's so easy. So um, that's definitely an option. Um, I have a brat body I've never used yet. Might be pretty cool. Cut that up a little. Um, the problem we're gonna have is everything's just gonna be too wide for the sliders. So we'll have to figure something out with that. I'm sure somebody will be making these sliders pretty quick, 3D printing them or something that are wider, fit better bodies or something like that. So uh, just a couple little bodies there to show you. The stock one is just on the Velcros, which I actually like. I was doing bodies on magnets and I just get tired of running them because those magnets, when they get hit on the side, your body wants to just move to the side and they'll just like pop off, you know, because these magnets are pretty easy to separate side to side. So when your body takes a hit to the side, it just comes right off. Uh, I like how this body fits right down into these sliders. And the Velcro holds it good. So when it takes hits, it's not going anywhere. I mean, that's 
I'm hitting it pretty good. So um, they definitely did pretty good with mounting the body. So I've gotten pretty used to these smaller controllers, really like one hand driving with them. But the plus to a regular controller is the mount that I use um, fits it pretty well. So to put my phone on here to shoot video, I can drive with both hands and just mount my phone up there. Um, you know, I have some that are made for like my GT5 and different stuff, but I just prefer this because I can quickly clip it on whatever I'm using so I can just bounce back and forth. Okay, so I think you can kind of see right here, it's pretty jumpy with the throttle. Like, I, I kind of expected better, you know, being a much better transmitter. I was hoping the ESC was better. Uh, it's not horrible. I'm not saying it's, you know, terrible. I just feel like um, it's not on par with, like, the FCX uh, ESC setup. Maybe it's gearing. Maybe it's whatever. But um, the V2, in my opinion, even was better. But these tires, um, when I had the Betty and it had these tires... Um, the rock lizards on it like i felt like they were the best performing stock tire and they actually did very good um i would be interested in getting a set of these tires not on the wheels you can see there the servo struggling with that servo saver that happened a lot um that's just a given with a stock scx24 that's one of the things i wish they had improved uh, but these tires like i said they did really good um i mean really really good so uh, i would love to see these with some foams um, some flubbers or something just to try them out you know to see how they do so um this is definitely the most capable scx24 it's the ax24 but i'm comparing it to the scx24 because it is really the same platform and um straight out of the box if you're just looking for dead up performance this is it and like i said i was pretty hard on this thing i get the direction they were going with it uh you know because Somebody can buy this and have a very capable rig with just barely doing anything. Um, you know, adding some weight is going to make this thing a game changer. Um, it really did well. You know, I really enjoyed driving it. And I don't mind, like, <laughs> admitting I was kind of wrong, you know. I wasn't really wrong. I, didn't, I wasn't meaning like this thing was never going to be any good. I was just saying I really wish they had improved some things. Um, but I do like some of the things they did. These sliders, awesome. <laughs> My favorite thing on this by far. The clearance is great. The flex is awesome for most people. It's a little much for me. I will definitely be kind of limiting that maybe with a little spring mod on here or just going to a little bit shorter shock or something. But um, we get this thing a little bit lower, a little bit of weight down low. Um, honestly, I feel like it's going to do really well. You'll see coming down this, um, it's pretty tough sometimes coming down this. And I was able to make it work. Having the four-wheel steer gives you a little more option on making lines. You can see right there I sidetracked a hair just to kind of be right where I wanted. I was able to ease down that. So um, definitely the most capable SCX24 I've drove. And um, with some CVDs in the steering on this, it's going to be really good some overdrive a little weight down low that's all the things i'm going to do to start with i'm going to keep one pretty simple just to kind of show how easily you can make this very good and then of course i'm going to do like some kind of crazy custom build but um this line right here like undo it didn't have a chance at that it just loops out um weight down low in the front getting that esc down it's going to help a whole lot with stuff like this and I feel like it can make this with a little bit of work. And one thing rear steer does to you, and you can see right there, sometimes it, it makes you loop out a little more. The rear steering on this doesn't track perfectly straight a lot of times when you go from four wheel steering back to front steering. Um, and then that torque twist with these worm gears, it's, it's very noticeable on this rig because you have all of that flex and it just really twists the front a lot so a lot of times you'll see that front left really lifting that's one thing i just absolutely hate about the worm gears i don't get near as much twist like that with the fcx ring and pinion gears but the fact it made it up that right there pretty pretty impressive and um overall i enjoy driving this thing um you know say what you want like it's pretty dang good for the scx24 I just wish they had 
made those minor improvements and this would absolutely hands down be the only 24 i would recommend you know just a little better esc electronics really better motor cvds those few servos those few things and it's it's living up to the axial name in my opinion it's good it's not great and it really i feel like it could have been great if they had just took what they had and made those few improvements like i said um, they could have really pushed this into the number one spot for the 24s i still think it's um, a pretty tough decision between like this and say the fcx or something uh, this has a lot to offer with the four-wheel steer and stuff out of the box at the price and the aftermarket for it is insane um, but i just feel like they could have kept the same axles and stuff you know i'm fine with the worm gears i'm not a big fan of them but they could have used those and just gave us like cvds or something um, and just a little better servo that gets the job done a um, little better motor those few things some better shocks uh, really could have just put this thing over the edge and made it the only 24 you know to be recommended but to me it's just they kind of used what they had just to make another offering just to make another sale so that was my point from the get-go on this one i knew it was going to be good i never hate on the scx 24 like i love my scx 24s um they're so much fun but i want to see them keep pushing the game forward i was trying to do the hanging line there and it just wasn't going to do that the rock lights look really cool. You know, they don't add anything really for performance. So for me, I'll probably be taking those off, at least on one of them that I'm doing like some cool mods too. But uh, they do look cool out of the box. The four wheel steer is great. We just need some better servos. And uh, this thing will be pretty dang solid. So, you know, I was very hard on it. And now I'm kind of being a little more easy on it <laughs> because I did enjoy it. but. It needs a lot of work and uh, for me you know somebody who likes modding these things and doing a lot of work to them i mean it's great because it it needs help and i'm gonna you know fix a lot of things but uh it does offer a very capable rig for people just starting out in the 24s but it's also going to make them put in some work because things are going to fail the servos are going to fail the dog bones are going to fail the motor is going to die once they decide they need brass everything you know people uh some people just recommend brass axles bracks blah 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 everything brass you just throw as much weight as you can to it. it well then this thing's just gonna die you know stock motors fine on these until you start adding that rotational weight and a lot of weight here and there and then it's just gonna stall out all the time so uh, i'm gonna make definitely a video on just how to make this perform with very few mods then i'm gonna go over the top with one probably and just have some fun with it you know um, that's what i enjoy doing is modding these things and uh, but i'll get to it so a lot of stuff coming up you'll see this thing i mean i had fun with it i gotta admit had a lot of fun with it it needs a lot of work though so um it struggled quite a bit on some of these lines just rolling over on my course but there were a few that it did i was really surprised with so um in the end you can't go wrong with it there's so much aftermarket out there for these things like you're not gonna have any issue making it really good i just wish they had made a few improvements straight out of the box and it would be an absolute beast so you guys let me know what you think about it i appreciate everybody watching tons of stuff coming up so don't forget to like subscribe click the bell all that stuff i appreciate everybody peace